for some extra luck this St. Patty's Day, like, share, and subscribe to our channel because that's really gonna, you know, maybe win the lottery. That would be because of us. So do something for you today. Like, share, subscribe. Hey everybody, welcome back to Cooking with My Dumb Friends. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Um, this episode today is actually a three-parter. We are going to be making beer in a non-traditional cooking with my dumb friends episode. My friend Trevor knows more about brewing beer than I do. I'm still going to make something, but it's not really going to be like featured in the episode because you got to have food when you drink. Super like important to eat on St. Patrick's Day. Mix and so because of that, we're doing Irish nachos. Um, nice. Yes. Yes. So. I know, it was a surprise. So this is how anybody can brew beer in your apartment. Um, these are fantastic little kits. You can buy them online just about anywhere. When I started, I built all of mine from scratch and now you can just do this in one gallon kits. You don't have to buy like a ton of supplies and hundreds of dollars. All of other things that I've gotten here. If you're lazy like I was the first time I brewed, you can just go buy some of somebody else's beer and these things are resealable. That's what my grandpa uses for his homebrew, and it is good beer. My grandpa makes probably the best light beer I've ever had. Beer. Like lager nice. situation, yeah. The first thing that we want to do is sanitize, right? Yes. Uh, really, uh, anybody can brew beer uh, anywhere, anytime. Biggest thing you have to do is keep everything clean. So yeah. basically anything that gets into your beer when you seal it up to ferment, it's going to ferment with that. So any sort of bacteria or anything that you let inside is going to be in your beer and you're going to taste that. And yeah. it's not gonna be good. It's gonna be skunky. So we have some sanitizer here. Uh, Trevor is obviously more of a professional, so he has his <laughs> sanitizer. I just got this little packet that came with this kit my dad got me. Um, and you can see his episode where we made beer, nope, French bread, which is kind of similar because there is um, a bit of fermentation in the bread making process and you do deal with yeast and its behavior. So, um, yeah, that'll be fun. Fantastic. Cool. All right. Let's get stuff clean. Cool. Um, so. We're making it in here. Uh, I figured we might as well. Um, let's pour half of it already in here. Half of the water? Yeah. Yeah. Very precise about this. <laughs> Clearly. Okay. Sanitizey. Okay, pour it in here. Yep. And we can then set this to dry at yes. that point because yep. it's sanitized. Correct. Um, now we're going to grab all of our other tiny items and we're going to submerge them in here. Oh, my clothes are tiny items. Tiny Now, what we're gonna do is the mash. We're like gonna get get stuff ready for the mash. Correct. Next is mash. So we can use this pot. Yep. And I'll so rinse this out. You notice that, yeah, basically this pot is gonna be clean, but it's not gonna necessarily have to go through the sanitizing process that we're going through here. Because we're boiling it. Exactly. Yeah. We probably need a gallon and a half. Two and a half quarts is what we start with, it says. Okay. So, and this actually has a line. Oh, fantastic. I was like, and best way to measure it is. <laughs> so now we're gonna mess with this guy. This is our... Full grain. Grain, I thought so. <laughs> um, and it's, they, they liken it to oatmeal. So um, if you can make oatmeal, they say you can make beer. Absolutely. But yeah, uh, so this is grain opposed to a BME which is a dry malt extract, which would be a powder. Right. Or there is just- My grandpa does the malt, I think. The malt extract, yeah. yeah. So otherwise you can get basically a molasses consistency version of this. And uh, that stuff just dissolves right in. You don't have to worry and about- And you just heat it up? Yep. Oh man, Absolutely. that seems like cheating. Like you don't even have to make oatmeal. You can just, you know, simple syrup Make some tea? Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> basically, simple, like not even. Just pour in a bit. So we're gonna throw our mix in. And the water is at 160 degrees. Things it's gonna smell like kind of a more grainy oatmeal, like yeah. they all keep on talking about. Now we're going to have that going kind of at a simmer uh, for an hour, and then next after that is the sp 
barge? Yes. Okay, so um, that'll be interesting. Dumper mash, right? What is it yep. called? So mash out? Yep, mash out. So we're going to strain this through cheesecloth through a strainer also. Will you pull this pot out, Trevor? Do this. Do this. Check this out right here. Thanks for uh, the hard shit. <laughs> well, I invited you. I can't make you do the hard shit. Pull it back up. Hot. Little hot pellets. Little rabbit food. Yeah. Alright, that's about three quarters. And then we'll add the rest of our hops 20 minutes before it's done. So in 40 minutes. Once we have our wort into the jug, it's going to start fermenting. And when that happens, it lets off little... Uh, little bubbles and those need to escape but we cannot let any bad particulates in so we're going to fill this up with water and it lets little air bubbles out but it does not let anything back through the water mm -hmm. so it acts like a little filter it's a, uh, also called an airlock for that reason so now that we have 20 minutes left we're going to put the last bit of hops in there yep stir it in <laughs> okay, so we're going to put some ice in here for our ice bath to put our beer so we can cool it down and put the yeast in it. Uh, the faster we can get it down to temperature, the better. Um, okay, so now that this has boiled for an hour, we're gonna go ahead and pour it into our jug and put it in an ice bath and cool it down. All right, Trevor, actually, I'm gonna let you do this. All right. It, it looks kind of gnarly, but uh, it's hops buildup on the side of the rim here. We're not gonna try to mix that in or anything. Uh, that's actually, we want that to settle out of our beer. Uh, and either here or during the fermentation process, that's gonna settle out for us and we will not have to drink that goop. So we're good with that. We're just gonna funnel in here. We're gonna take this over and we're gonna try to get it this into this ice bath and try to cool it down quickly. So I'm gonna try to get it in here, kind of move it around a bit. Beautiful beer. I'm gonna go ahead and dump out this ice bath. Okay, uh, next part is the uh, most important part. This is what changes this gloop here into stuff that gets you drunk. So we're just going to add this in since it is down to temperature and will not kill, kill the yeast anymore. And you know what, guys? Stick this back on here. Put our tube back on here, and then we're going to try to get this yeast mixed in here a little bit and get it to all the sugars. And basically this yeast is going to eat away at the sugars and then it actually produces alcohol as a byproduct. Take that, stick it back inside of our pot here. And then we will put this away. That was pretty fun. Um, <laughs> we have our little beer baby just chilling back there and we're gonna put him at room temperature for a couple days, let the fermentation settle down for a little bit. And then um, go ahead and put our airlock on top. 
Yep. Uh, you're going to want to keep it out of sunlight, by the way. Uh, sunlight is bad for beer in the brewing process. Mm -hmm. So we're probably going to stick it in the closet, make sure that it stays at a pretty regulated heat. Uh, this is an ale style brew, so we have a lot of play there actually at what temperature we can brew it at. Cool. So, All right. We're good. And then in a couple of weeks, we'll throw it in some bottles. So stay tuned for that. Definitely check it out. And there will be food, of course, because, I mean, I'm cooking food with my beer. dumb friends. Yeah. Food it, but, uh, beer is food, but also food is food. So it's good to have both. So thanks so much, guys. I hope that you like, share, and subscribe. And, of course, as you know, like, life is all about food, fun, and friendship. And that's what we're doing here. So we'll see you next time.